this video I'm going to describe the collaborative web tool that I chose for this assignment. I chose Scoopit and uh, to access Scoopit you'll just go to www.scoop.it. Now Scoopit is a really interesting tool because it takes what some of the social bookmarking tools where you can save links and comment about those links, it kind of takes that to a whole new level by creating a very visual, very interactive experience for classifying that information. It, it's kind of a classification of tools that have come to be known as content curation. Now the the crux behind content curation is not necessarily that you're creating content but you're aggregating content and this makes a really important learning tool because what I can do as a learner is I can find someone who I trust who I know is providing good content or that I think is particularly interesting or things like that and I can kind of see what they think is interesting and I can learn from that type of uh, environment so it really is kind of a collaborative way of constructing knowledge and constructing information about topics that we're, that we're all interested in. Now I'm signing in here to my account and there are a variety of accounts. You, you can have a free account with up to five topics and I'll talk about topics in a second. Or you can have a pro account or even a business account. Now this is the dashboard page. So when you upon when you first log into Scoop it, this is what you see. So now this is as a as a um, as an actual you have your account you're curating the topics I'm going to show you what your page will look like to your visitors here in just a moment but this dashboard page is very similar to maybe other tools that you may be familiar with it has kind of a, a what's new section it has some of my people that are following me they call it the community uh, it gives me some ways that I can connect with other services and I also have my stats so I can see how many views I have and how many posts that I've made and things like that. Now at the very bottom here you'll notice that it says my curated topics. Now this is a list of the topics that you um, curate, that you are kind of adding content to. So the main topic that I uh, use is this e-learning innovations. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now this is the, cur the content curation screen. From here, you can um, it, you can actually add suggestions in or keywords in, and the system will actually provide some recommendations that you might be interested in. So as I kind of scroll down here, some of these things are interesting, but others may not be. It may have pulled a key term from something that is maybe is not quite as uh, quite as interesting as what I thought. But let's say that I that I like something like that, and and I say, oh, this is kind of an interesting uh, interesting topic. Let me go ahead here. Um, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to say scoop it. And what this does is it actually chooses that and then it opens it in a dialog box. And what's really neat about this is it kind of pre-populates some fields for me. It tells me what uh, post that I, what uh, topic I want it to go to. Um, it maybe suggests some other posts that I can say, hey, um, you're also in my community and you might find this interesting as well. So I could do that. It pre-populates a title for me and it gives me a selection of some images that I may find helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. It also pulls in some in, some information that may be nice as kind of a, a heading line. And at the very bottom I can actually share this via Facebook or via Twitter all in with one click. So that makes it a, a very powerful tool for bringing in content that is already um, existing. So I'm going to go ahead and select publish. And what this is doing is actually adding this to my uh, to my Scoop It page. Now you notice that this is the latest scoop that I've made. But if I went to the View Topic button, which this is the page if you were going to visit uh, my Scoop It account up here, my Scoop It page, this is what you would see. And I can customize this page from a visual standpoint. I can add custom icons. Uh, you can notice I add kind of a little icon here with the uh, with the beaker with the little E's coming out of it. So that was all custom created. Now you'll notice that here is my latest post. So they're talking about the assault on public education here. Now so you'll notice that it kind of came in in a very visual format. I have some ability to kind of modify that image if I wanted to. I can move it over here. I could also uh, possibly make it a little larger. So I have some some flexibility in terms of how that is presented visually. Now the other thing that's really nice about this is that I can go actually go in and edit edit the information. I could tag it with a certain tags. This is about public education or something like that. 
um, I also get kind of an idea of how it's being uh, shared with other people. So you notice that these are these are options there. If I wanted to, I can even move it around the page. So I have some visual um, some visual flexibility in terms of that goes. So as we connect this to some of the discussions that we made, um, I see this as really being an interesting environment to look at things like uh, cognitive flexibility. So uh, how do we navigate around in these things as well as kind of hypermedia environments. You'll notice here that I can bring in YouTube videos. Um, so if I just were kind of to play just a second of that, you can see I can bring in some YouTube videos. Um, I can also bring in a variety from a variety of sources. I could bring in from Twitter links. I could bring in uh, blog posts and things like that. So you'll notice that as I scroll down, this is less like a list and more like a magazine of content. And it's all content that I think is particularly interesting. And so chances are, if you think the things that that I think are interesting that you're probably going to like this and so it really is kind of a way to uh, share um, uh, people with like minds share resources and things and you notice that built in you can connect to Facebook or Twitter I have some information here some diagnostic information on things you'll notice I have some pending suggestions so these are people in my community that have suggested posts for me and then I have a, a uh, scoop it score. Now my score isn't very good, but this is a, an idea of how influential my particular topic is um, with with other people in my community. So this is how many uh, scoops I've made. It's how many of my uh, scoops have been rescooped. A variety of things. Um, I can also bring in uh, tags. I currently don't. I'm not using this particular feature, but it would be very easy to do. Um, and then I noticed I showed you on the previous page how um, Scoop it actually recommends uh, uh, articles. If you find an article that maybe Scoop it didn't find, you can always go to the new post button, and you just add your URL right into there, and it would pre-populate that content for you. You can always go in and customize the the information as well. So it's really not you don't have to go with that. It it's just a recommendation. So that's my scoop it page. I'm going to go back here to the dashboard page, and so you can kind of see how that relates. Uh, so here in my community, if I were to select in there, you'll notice that um, I can I'll have a list of every uh, person that that I'm kind of connected to in the community, along with their ranking scores and their topic out beside so you can actually go through and see um, uh, information. This is really really a powerful uh, e-learning knowledge creation tool and so I you can also notice across the top I'm back to my curate page so I can see um, information that I'm, that I'm working with. If I wanted to say switch to another topic I can always switch to that one uh, by selecting the little drop down and finally, I'm going to show you the little follow option. Now, this is where I have followed other people's Scoop It um, accounts, and their po their posts are reposting in the Scoop It here. So I can kind of go here and see someone's talking about the Sloan C5 pillars of quality. So you know, I think that may well that's maybe interesting. Maybe I want to add a comment, or maybe I want to uh, share it, or or thank the person for it. So there's a variety of things that I can do with this content. So once again, it's it's much closer to a magazine than just a um, uh, a list of, of links. See here, this person has even brought brought in a slide share document. So a lot of really interesting uh, content. Here's a PDF that someone has has incorporated. So Scoop it really is, I believe, as I see it, a a part of a uh, actually a very elegant part of a have a classification of web 2.0 tools that are they're really just kind of emerging and it's a very powerful way of classifying the knowledge that's out there one of the problems that I see in e-learning uh, in particular is dealing with the vast amount of information is there and so how do you know what which information is good how do you know which information is bad how do you know which information is right for the particular learning context that you're working in and what scoop it does it allows you to build to harness what we do as as humans in terms of building trust and in terms of 
building influence within our communities and it leverages that in a in a web environment and I have personally found this particular tool to be one of the most important uh, knowledge classification and capture tools that that I particularly have run across I learn a lot from what I find on scoop it so in this particular um, tutorial, I wanted to provide a an overview of Scoopit for for one, but also to just kind of reiterate how some of the features connect with learning and from an educational technology perspective. Uh, you'll also notice that this is available as a as a mobile app on the App Store, and so you have have that flexibility as well. So uh, this is a for the free account. You have up to five topics. I'd really encourage you if you haven't already to get involved with this. Um, oftentimes it's a great tool that if you say, oh, that's a that's a great link, I need to put that in an email or I need to, to write it down somewhere, instead of doing that, just, just scoop it, just put the link right in there and you build your magazine as well as you, you kind of classify and curate that link that, that you found or someone provided to you. So. And so, in kind of summary, this this tool is a is an excellent tool for, um, I believe, uh, practitioners and researchers to be plugged into, because you're you're guaranteed to have um, really some of the most current information and current uh, themes that are that are happening in your particular area. So this is uh, kind of in, in summary of, of that particular tool. So scoop it is an excellent way to uh, to be able to uh, build that knowledge. I believe as a practitioner.